Have you ever wondered where the universe came from? What triggered its creation? What was there before the Big Bang? These questions have tantalized humanity for centuries, sparking unending curiosity and deep contemplation. From ancient astronomers gazing at the stars to modern scientists peering through powerful telescopes, we've always yearned to comprehend our cosmic origins. The most widely accepted answer to these questions is the Big Bang Theory. It suggests that our universe was born from an incredibly hot, dense point around 13.8 billion years ago. This colossal explosion set the stage for the formation of all matter, energy, space, and time as we understand them today. But how can we be sure? How do we know the, the Big Bang isn't just a spectacular theory? The answer lies in the afterglow of this monumental event. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for the Big Bang theory is something called the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB radiation. The Cosmic Microwave Background radiation is like the universe's baby picture taken just 380,000 years after its birth. This snapshot of the cosmos gives us an extraordinary view of the universe when it was still a cosmic infant. But what exactly is the cosmic microwave background or CMB radiation? Well, picture the universe just after the Big Bang. It was a hot, dense soup of particles buzzing with energy. As the universe expanded, it cooled down and these particles started to combine. Around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe had cooled enough for protons and electrons to come together and form neutral hydrogen atoms. This period is known as the recombination era. Up until this point, the universe was so hot and dense that light couldn't travel freely. It was constantly being absorbed and re-emitted by particles, creating a fog that light couldn't penetrate. But as soon as these hydrogen atoms formed, the universe became transparent to light. The photons, or particles of light, could now travel freely across the cosmos without being scattered or absorbed. These photons are what we now detect as the CMB radiation. The CMB radiation is incredibly faint and uniform, with a temperature just above absolute zero, around 2.7 degrees Kelvin. It's like a soft cosmic hum, filling the universe with its nearly undetectable whisper. But despite its subtlety, the CMB radiation tells us a great deal about the universe's early history and its subsequent evolution. The CMB radiation is also remarkably uniform, which suggests that the early universe was homogeneous and isotropic, meaning it was the same in every direction. But upon closer examination, we see tiny fluctuations in the CMB. These fluctuations are like the seeds that would eventually grow into galaxies and clusters of galaxies the large-scale structures we see in the universe today. This radiation, this afterglow of the Big Bang is still detectable today and provides us with a wealth of information about our universe's past. In the next scene, we'll delve into the accidental discovery of this cosmic baby picture and how it reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. The discovery of the CMB radiation wasn't intentional. It was found by accident by two American astronomers, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, in 1965. These two were not cosmologists, but radio astronomers. Their work centered around the study of celestial objects that emit radio waves, not the origins of the universe. The story begins at Bell Labs in New Jersey, where Penzias and Wilson were tasked with investigating radio signals from the Milky Way. In their efforts, they used a large horn-shaped antenna, originally built to detect radio waves bounced off echo balloon satellites. But as they began their work, they encountered a problem. There was a persistent annoying noise like a faint hum that they just couldn't get rid of. They tried everything in their power to eliminate this noise. They checked the equipment, recalibrated the antenna, and even cleaned bird droppings off the antenna, thinking it might have been causing interference. But no matter what they did, the noise remained. It was isotropic, meaning it was the same in every direction and it didn't vary with time or weather. It was as if this noise was coming from beyond our galaxy, from the reaches of the universe itself. Meanwhile, at Princeton University, a group of physicists led by Robert Dicka was working on a theory about the Big Bang. They predicted that if the Big Bang did happen, it should have left an afterglow, a faint radiation filling the universe. They were even building a device to detect this radiation. When Penzias and Wilson learned about Dicka's work, the pieces started to fall into place. 
they realized that the annoying noise they had been trying to get rid of was not noise at all. It was the afterglow of the Big Bang, the CMB radiation that Dickey's team was searching for. The discovery was monumental. Penzias and Wilson were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1978 for their accidental discovery. Their accidental discovery would lead to a Nobel Prize and provide one of the strongest pieces of evidence for the Big Bang Theory. It was a cosmic accident that reshaped our understanding of the universe. When we study the CMB, we're essentially looking back in time, exploring the conditions of the universe shortly after the Big Bang. It's like opening a cosmic time capsule, a glimpse into the earliest moments of the universe. Picture this. The universe, once a hot, dense soup of particles, begins to cool and expand. About 380,000 years after the Big Bang, protons and electrons combined to form neutral hydrogen atoms. This pivotal moment, often referred to as the surface of last scattering, is when the CMB radiation was released. This radiation, a snapshot of the universe at that time, has been traveling across space ever since, like an echo of the universe's infancy. But the CMB is not just a uniform glow. It contains tiny fluctuations, minute differences in temperature and density, that provide a wealth of information about the early universe. These fluctuations, often referred to as anisotropies, are the seeds of the cosmic structures we see today. They are the blueprints for the formation of stars, galaxies, and galaxy clusters. These anisotropies are like the fingerprints of the universe. By studying them, cosmologists can understand the processes that led to the formation of cosmic structures. They can uncover the universe's age, composition, and rate of expansion. They reveal the balance between matter and energy, between gravity and dark energy that shaped the universe's evolution. And it's through these tiny fluctuations in the CMB that we've been able to estimate the age of the universe. By analyzing the pattern and scale of these anisotropies, scientists have calculated the universe's age to be approximately 13.8 billion years. It's a testament to the power of the CMB as a cosmic time capsule offering us a window into the past and helping us unravel the mysteries of our cosmic origins. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember the CMB. This faint, nearly uniform glow of microwave radiation is a remnant from the universe's infancy, a cosmic whisper from the dawn of time. Through the CMB, we've been able to estimate the age of the universe at around 13.8 billion years. Observations of the cosmic microwave background have revealed a universe composed of ordinary matter, dark matter, and dark energy. This trio of components is like a cosmic recipe, making up everything we know and see, and even what we can't see. Now let's talk about the Lambda CDM model, the reigning champion of cosmological models. It's a bit like a blueprint of the universe. The Lambda part stands for dark energy the mysterious force causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. The CDM stands for cold dark matter, the invisible and elusive matter that doesn't interact with light, but exerts gravitational pull. The characteristics of the CMB radiation support this model. For instance, the near uniform temperature of the CMB across the sky suggests a universe that is homogeneous and isotropic on large scales, just as the Lambda CDM model predicts. But what about dark matter and dark energy? They sound like something out of a science fiction novel, right? Well, they might be invisible and mysterious, but they're key ingredients in our cosmic recipe. Let's start with dark matter. It doesn't interact with light, making it effectively invisible. Yet we know it's there because of its gravitational effects on, on galaxies and galaxy clusters. It's like the universe's invisible scaffolding, holding galaxies together and helping shape the large-scale structure of the universe. Then there's dark energy, the most dominant component in the Lambda CDM model. It's an unseen force that works against gravity, causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. It's like a cosmic accelerator pedal driving the universe's expansion. The cosmic microwave background radiation, with its faint near uniform glow, has helped us understand these cosmic components. It's given us a glimpse into the early universe, allowing us to piece together the cosmic recipe that makes up our universe. The cosmic microwave background radiation stands as a cornerstone in cosmology, a testament to the power of scientific discovery 
and the wonder of the universe. As we continue to study it, who knows what other cosmic secrets it might reveal. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that the universe's early echoes are still reverberating, whispering the secrets of our cosmic origins. The cosmic microwave background radiation, this faint yet significant glow, acts as a cosmic time capsule, allowing us to peer back into the universe's infancy. It's a snapshot of the cosmos at a critical phase, a mere 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This mysterious afterglow has given us profound insights into our universe's beginnings, composition, and evolution. From affirming the Big Bang theory to revealing the universe's age and structure, the CMB radiation has been pivotal in shaping our cosmological understanding. It's a testament to the universe's homogeneity and isotropy, its dark matter, dark energy, and ordinary matter. In essence, the cosmic microwave background radiation is a cosmic whisper from the distant past, a lingering echo of the Big Bang. It's a reminder that we are all stardust, part of this grand, beautiful mystery we call the universe.